Hello, and welcome to the 8th Annual Teal Web Fest. I'm Rodney V. Smith, Creative Director of Teal Web Fest and President of Web Series Canada. It's our second year going virtual, and I'm sure it's been a very strange time for everyone, but we've all adapted and somehow we've just kept on going and creating. The Web Series community has always been pretty much resilient and adaptable, amazingly so sometimes. So it's made me particularly proud to see so many entries coming in from all over the world. Thanks to the tireless efforts of the Board of Web Series Canada and to, of course, our judges, we've managed to select quite a few of these series. And these are series that I can proudly say represent some of the best that Web Series has to offer. And now it's time to hand out some awards. Enjoy the show. I'm biased because I live here, but Toronto is such a great city for production. I am inspired when I see all of the creators who come out of this city. Here are the nominees for Best Toronto Web Series. Queens. What We Leave Behind. Short Term Sentence. And the award goes to... Short Term Sentence. Congratulations. Hey guys, Phil, Kevin, Evan here from Short Term Sentence. Thank you, T.O. WebFest, for this award. It really means a lot. And we want to thank everybody at the IPF for supporting the series. And uh, we really want to thank our wonderful I would like to thank my mom, uh, and I would also like to thank my acting coach uh, for inspiring me every day and making me better so that I could give you what I gave you. Um, and uh, Daniel Day, um, Lewis. Uh, I would also... Uh, why is there music playing? This isn't uh, we're outside. What the f Web Series Canada is so incredibly thrilled to be in our eighth year of this festival. As an organization, we wanted to spotlight a series that has outdone itself in being original and outspoken with the perfect amount of comedic sensibilities. This year, we are spotlighting the web series Cam Girlfriend. Congratulations to the entire team. Hi, I'm Daniel A.M. Rosenberg, director and co-producer of Cam Girlfriend. On behalf of the entire Cam Girlfriend team, I want to say a huge thank you to TL Webfest for this Canada Spotlight Award. It is such an honor to be included with so many great Canadian web series. And a big thank you to the sponsors, especially IPF, who not only supported our series, but so many other great Canadian web series. Presentation and storytelling is part of the reason why I'm a creator. We need to tell all kinds of stories and make sure that they're seen. The LGBTQ2 community has so many talented voices that deserve to be heard. Here are three of the incredible series that we'd like to make sure are seen. This LGBTQ2 Spotlight Award is sponsored by the CMF. Here are the nominees. Queens. Norms. Countergrau. And the winner is Countergrau. Thank you to Webfest for honoring us and thank you for sharing your platform with queer voices. If working on Kuntergrau taught us anything, then that it's still necessary to be out loud and proud. As a web series with over 16 subtitle languages, we try to do our part in making queer voices heard all around the world. Feel free to check out all of our episodes on our YouTube channel. Thank you and enjoy. great things come in groups, like grapes, boy bands, and ensemble casts, of course. This award is sponsored by ACTRA. The nominees for Best Ensemble Cast are Narco Leap Season 2. Looks like Kirkland just saved your ass. Bring her here. I'll admit I had my doubts. Miles, given your history, but good work. Thank you, Director. Prepare her body for surgery. Decoys. A quarter life crisis. <laughs> what does it take to put on the NACC? It will make your head spin. Where do I start? 
I had just come to Canada on my visa before my wife had come. So I was getting a bit lonely, but I told myself, Amandeep Singh, you are not going to sit around feeling sorry for yourself. Shakespeare Republic Lockdown Chronicles. Oh, for a muse of fire that will ascend the brightest heaven of invention, a kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. And the award goes to Narcoleap Season 2. Congratulations, it's a fantastic series with a great cast. Hey Toronto WebFest, thank you so much for this honor. My name is Kate Green, I am the uh, creator, director, producer of Narcoleap Season 1 and 2, and I humbly accept this award on behalf of our amazing cast. They are truly incredible and I feel like it's been an absolute honor to have worked with all of them and they're so talented, and thank you so much to all of them. I also want to shout out to Tina McCulloch, Tina Marie Casting, who helped uh, bring them all together, and as well as the Bell Fund, CMF, and Creative BC for helping projects like this come to life. Thank you, and we're truly honored. So I have a serious question. I'm asking for a friend. What do you do when you need to make a creepy dark forest into a pink wonderland? I ain't about to spray paint hundreds of trees. Or if you need to make someone's head look like it's being chopped off without actually beheading them. Cause that's illegal obviously. I've been told that there's a special program for doing those things. I'm just a producer, an actor, and writer. What do I know? The nominees for Best Visual Effects are Brock Jolife and Rudy Rivas for Detention Adventures, Daniel Vink for Love Guns and Level Ups, Kenji Rodriguez Tanamaki, Efrain Perez, Jude C. Wang, Juan Orea, Juan Pablo Uloa, and Saul Aparicio for Narco Leap Season 2. And the award goes to Daniel Vink for Love Guns and Level Ups. Congratulations, Daniel. Escaping the real world through stories comes in many forms. Animation allows us to enter worlds and fall in love with characters who don't exist in reality. And all of us have dreamed about being an animated character at least once in our lives. Here are the nominees for Best Animated Content. Marcus Nicholson, Catherine Durst, and Megan Meadows for Everything Is Gonna Be Alright. Lou Sauvageon, Guillaume Chonier, Matasha Valley Martin, Jerome Leonard, Carolina Cossett, Anne-Marie Robert, Fanny Thwart, Vincent Gosselin, and Frederic Guay for About Sex. Maddie Patton, Michelle Howe, Patrick Gall, Liam Gregg, Jeremy Walker, Nina Lai, and Megan Grayson for My Pride the series. And the winner is Everything is Gonna Be Alright. Attend any global market or festival for content and you'll witness the talent on a global scale. Stories can come from any corner of the world and you never know which story you'll connect with as an audience member. All you have to do is be willing to watch. Here are the nominees for Best International Web Series. Small Claims Court, Vogeltreten. Tiny Garden, Friture, Fry Up. And the award goes to Friture. Congratulations, you guys deserve it. Hello, I wanted to warmly thank T.O. Webfest for awarding the show for the best international series. That's so cool. Especially when I see the huge quality of the other series. So a big thanks to my team for taking care of the shooting outdoors in the cold, wind and rain at the end of February in the northern of France. So thanks to our partners, Real Production, Picta Novo, and Weo for trusting us. I am very happy that the audience can discover Fritures during the Webfest here in Toronto. So have fun and thank you again. I personally love watching content in other languages. Lately, I've been on a Korean and Chinese drama binge. 
but great content exists everywhere. These are the nominees for Best Foreign Language Web Series. Miracle Barbershop, Migrant Stories, 300-year-old class of 2020. And the award goes to Miracle Barbershop. Hi, I'm Kenny Tan from Fitzy Studios, and we are the producers of The Miracle Barbershop on behalf of the series creator uh, Daniel Yan, as well as the team in Singapore. We would like to thank uh, TO Web Fest as well as uh, Web Series Canada for this amazing award. Thank you so much and stay safe. Who run the world? Yeah, I don't need to answer it because it should be obvious by now. Women further humankind for goodness sake, so it's only fitting that we highlight series created by boss ladies. The Women's Spotlight Award is sponsored by the Bell Fund. Here are the nominees. 30, Season 2. Vampire State of Mind. Planetel. And the winner is Planetel. Congratulations to the ladies! Thanks, Theo Webfest. Thank you very much. We are delighted and honored to receive an award that highlights the work of women screenwriters, directors, actors, mothers, daughters. We would like to thank our wonderful crew and the support of our family and friends. We hope you enjoy and have fun with Planetelli. Thanks again. Love from Brazil. They always say the leading man, but you know what? The supporting man should become more of a thing. Young male actors should be excited at the prospect of being a supporting actor, not just lead actors. Don't you think? I think so. This award is sponsored by Actra. Here are the nominees for Best Supporting Actor. Maurice Dean Wint for For the Record. Quite the collection you've got. Oh, cheers, thanks. Yeah, it's the um, soundtrack to my life. This is the soundtrack to your life. Uh, I mean, Bob Marley's the man, right? I mean, that album got me through some tough times. It, it, it actually puts me at ease. Does it? That's a classic. Uh, fastest selling single in Motown history, I think. Motown rejected it at first. Thought the song would ruin Marvin's career. But uh, he certainly had the last laugh, didn't he? Challenging Motown to face Vietnam, civil unrest. That's why what's going on is a statement. Not a question. Josh Thompson for Inside. The government has signaled that until the growth curve of new cases flattens off, the country will remain alert. Hey, Rose. Are you home? I do believe I am. Stay in your room, okay? I'm coming out. Kevin Clayton for short-term sentence. Okay, just hear, hear me out. I know I can be difficult sometimes, and I wanted to apologize. So I set up a threesome for you right now in there. What are you talking about? Why, you're actually being serious. Where's the other girl? What do you mean? The award goes to Maurice Dean Wint for For the Record. Congratulations. Greetings, T.O. Web Festivals. And a heartfelt thank you to the festival for this fabulous honor. Uh, my gratitude to everyone at Authentic and CBC. Virtual hugs to an extraordinary cast and crew. Sir Suds for seeing elements of this character in me and wrapping them so tidily in your frame, your e-check is in the mail. And Mr. JDZ, infinite thanks for the mouth-watering dialogue and vibrant musicality of these beautiful scenarios. <sighs> Dinner was lovely. I talk about lucky actresses. Well, the people supporting the lead are pretty darn lucky too. 
and without them, the leads would just be talking to the wall. This award is sponsored by ACTRA. The nominees for Best Supporting Actress are Nicole Oliver for NarcoLeap Season 2. I mean, don't you have encryption or antivirus software or... They defeated 32-bit encryption. So this wasn't a bunch of teenagers. <sighs> no, you're right, it can't be a coincidence. Somebody wandered into Kelsey's file. Thanks. Karen LeBlanc for For the Record. What's so funny? <gasps> Wokeness? <laughs> Did an impressionable young female student teach you that phrase during one of your late night consultations? Yep. Excuse me? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, your father, he's fond of mentoring his female students. Dad, what's going on? <laughs> it's nothing, honey. Henrietta. Oh, we shouldn't. We should keep that between the two of us, right? And the counselor, am I right? What? You guys have a marriage counselor? For a while now, but it's not working. See, I just need to remind this serial cheater here that he doesn't get to say whatever he wants to win an argument. Oh, what was it the counselor caught that? Being called out? Felicia Johansson for Planetel. Deixe de ser dramática. Você é exclusiva e superior, pois foi especialmente desenvolvida por este laboratório para cumprir uma missão. Missão? Falando nisso, que tal conhecer o meu novo projeto? Novo projeto? Veja, este é o meu novo projeto. O que é isso? Isto é um dos mais impressionantes avanços tecnológicos de todos os tempos. E o award vai para Karen LeBlanc for For the Record. Hey, TO WebFest, thank you so much for this wonderful award. Thank you for the recognition. I had a great time working on the project. First, I want to thank Julian Dezate, our creator and writer. I'd like to thank Authentic Productions as well. Sud Sutherland, our illustrious director, thank you so much. Great to work with you again. And of course, big shout out and big group hug to my castmates. We had some very intense scenes, Julian Moni and Morris Dean Wynn, and to my manager, Gail Abrams of Many Moons. Thank you, TO WebFest. Stay safe, everyone. If someone made a documentary series about my life, it would consist of auditions, walking my dog, and complimenting myself on my sense of humor. To be honest, watching a lifestyle show hosted by me about dogs auditioning for shows while their owners overcompliment them would probably be more interesting. Creating engaging stories based on real things is clearly an art in itself. The nominees for Best Documentary and Lifestyle Web Series are What We Leave Behind A New Place Called Home Tiny Garden And the winner is Tiny Garden Hi! Well, on behalf of the Tiny Garden Singapore team uh, we are extremely humble and thrilled to be receiving this award Best Documentary and Lifestyle at the Toronto 2021 Web Fest Thank you so much. And special thanks to all the uh, home gardeners that opened up their homes and unique stories and let us share it with the world. Thank you so much. Thank you. Some days I wish aliens would abduct me and take me to their home planet. And then I'd join their civilization and learn how to shoot fire from my eyes. And then I'd go on adventures throughout the universe and become best friends with a talking unicorn. It sounds funny, but somewhere out there, there's a creator who's writing a film or series about something just as fantastical. Here are the nominees for Best Science Fiction and Fantasy Web Series. Narcoleap Season 2. Felix, Maud, and the End of the World. AI Love K-Drama. And the award goes to Felix, Maud, and the End of the World. Congratulations. Oh wow, thank you to the Toronto Web Fest for such an amazing award. This is such an honor. Thank you, this is super cool. Thank you to Tupoitv for believing in our crazy ideas. And thank you to Trio Orange, especially Julia and, and Melissa for carrying this project through the hard times of shooting during the pandemic. Also, thank you to cast and crew 
especially Dan and Pag, the directors, for bringing our crazy vision to life. Merci beaucoup. Salut. In the words of the great Alfred Hitchcock, there is no terror in Bang, only in the anticipation of it. Here are the nominees for Best Horror and Thriller Web Series. Busy Texara, or Bad Life. The Reminder. The Cookbook. And the winner is The Reminder. As a BIPOC creator and producer, I feel the responsibility to support and advance the careers of other BIPOC creators in any way I can. One way I do that is by spotlighting the creators who are working hard day and night to leave a legacy through their storytelling. This BIPOC Spotlight Award is sponsored by the CMF. Here are the nominees. Dog Days. For the record. What We Leave Behind. And the winner is Jonathan Elliott for What We Leave Behind. There are people who like to just sit and watch quietly. And then there are people who like to be in the thick of the action doing it all. The nominees for the Triple Threat Auteur are Oleg Agachev for Disappearing Stories, Phil Moniz and Kevin Clayton for Short Term Sentence, Joe Kichak for Detention Adventures, and the award goes to Joe Kichak for Detention Adventures. I know what it's like to wear multiple hats, so congratulations. If you're nervous to get in front of a crowd, you can imagine people naked to shake off the nerves. But I can guarantee that you wouldn't want to see people completely naked all the time on screen. The nominees for Best Costume Design are... Natalie Venn for The Glensburg Chronicles. Vanessa Magic for Queens. Emma Doyle for The Communist Daughter. And the award goes to Natalie Venn for The Glensburg Chronicles. Hello Toronto Webfest, merci pour ce prix, best costume design, merci pour toute l'équipe, pour les filles qui ont beaucoup travaillé sur, bah, sur le pilote des chroniques de Givenbourg. Actuellement, nous sommes en plein tournage euh, bah, des chroniques, la suite, euh, l'épisode 2 et 3. Euh, merci pour ce prix parce que c'est beaucoup de travail de faire une reconstitution de de costumes, tout simplement. On est dans une série historique, alors voilà. Merci de nous accorder votre confiance à travers ce prix. On espère vous faire découvrir encore beaucoup d'autres épisodes la prochaine fois, qu'on se reverra peut-être en festival. Voilà. Donc, merci beaucoup et puis à très bientôt, j'espère. A certain kind of talent can do the perfect winged eyeliner and fishtail braid. It's definitely not me. Hair and makeup enhance the character traits and in many ways help drive the story forward. The nominees for best hair and makeup are Kelly Amp and Mathilde Dordain for the Glinsberg Chronicles, Dory Cull, Ashley Stewart, and Joseph Primo for Queens, Katie Ellis, Brittany Boyd, and Valeria Lopez for Narcoleap Season 2. And the award goes to Jory Cull, Ashley Stewart, and Joseph Primo for Queens. Congratulations. If it's a rainy day and you just want a positivity pick-me-up, or if you need to keep kids busy, these shows give you exactly what you need. The nominees for Best Family Content and Musical Web Series are Everything is Going to Be Alright Monica's Mixing Bowl Detention Adventures And the award goes to Everything is Going to Be Alright Congratulations to the team! Thank you to Webfest for this award. This has been a video that's been very near and dear to our hearts over the last year. Um, there's a lot of little kids out there who are going to have this pandemic as their earliest memory. So we just wanted to put something out there to let them know that everything is actually going to be all right. And I also wanted to thank the artists who worked on this, Catherine Durst, Megan Meadows, and Marcus Nicholson. Thanks again.
They say that when life doesn't give you lemons, you use something that looks like lemonade and tastes like lemonade. But when you look closely, isn't lemonade at all. A giant round of applause for all the producers who create incredible content with very few resources. Here are the nominees for Best Low Budget Web Series. A New Place Called Home. Art Broken. Shakespeare Republic Lockdown Chronicles. And the winner is Shakespeare Republic Lockdown Chronicles. Toronto Webfest, uh, we'd like to thank you uh, for our, uh, we won for Best Low Budget. We did win for Best Low Budget, mm -hmm. which was Delicious. amazing, and we're really grateful and really thrilled. And we'd like to thank the jury and everyone yes. at Toronto Webfest, yes. and to and our crew and team. Yes. Yes. To all. Because without you, we couldn't have done it. No. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. This award is brought to you by the CMF, Canada Media Fund, Fonds des Médias du Canada. Puisque nous sommes au Canada, il est formidable que nous puissions présenter les séries en française aussi. Voici les nominés pour la meilleure web série canadienne française. Dog Days, Piégé, Trapped, Gaspésie and Me. And the winner is Piégé. Félicitations. All I have to say is that it's an excellent thing we're out of the silent era. Here are the nominees for Best Sound Design. Ricardo Ochoa for Narco League, Season 2. Diego Vanelli for Planetel. Leah McCohen and Duncan Campbell for Love, Guns, and Level Ups. And the winner is Leah McCohen and Duncan Campbell for Love, Guns, and Level Ups. It's often overlooked, but an OST is oftentimes the thing that people remember from series and films. When music aligns perfectly with the visuals and sound design, a story can go from good to great. Producers, please remember to put aside budget for music. These series did just that. Here are the nominees for Best Music. David Long and Stephen Gallagher for Inside. Sutra for What We Leave Behind. Annie Posnan, Amin Bhatia, Sarah Sleen, and an Antonio Nananjo for Detention Adventures. And the award goes to Sutra for What We Leave Behind. Congratulations, Sutra. Imagine an empty white room. The room is filled with invisible furniture. Now, Imagine the kind of stories you can tell in that room. It might be a fun exercise to play in high school drama, but for a web series, it lacks, well, everything. That's why production design is so important. Here are the nominees for Best Production Design. Scott Phelan for Narco Lee, Season 2. Gino Tomasi for The Willensburg Chronicles. Helen Kotsonis for The Communist Daughter. And the winner is Scott Phelan for Narco Lee, Season 2. Thank you so much, TO Webfest, for recognition and production design for Dark Leap Season 2. And congratulations to all of the nominees. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to Kate Green, our director, and Amber Orchard, our producer. Uh, thank you guys so much for bringing me out on the project. It was a blast working with you. We had a great time. And thank you so much to the entire art department. And a special shout out to Anna and uh, Lindsay. You guys really brought it. Uh, I can't wait to work with you again. So, thank you so much. A director's best friend is the cinematographer. They plan together, they scout together, they often eat together, and on set, they talk every few minutes. The cinematographer can make day seem like night, or night seem like day, and most likely they can make a seemingly boring background look beautiful. The nominees for best cinematography are Eric Allerall for The Gluinsburg Chronicles. Dave Cameron for Inside, Robert Scarborough for For the Record, and the award goes to Dave Cameron for Inside. Hello Toronto Webfest. Um, I want to say a huge thank you for this very auspicious award. 
Um, I feel so privileged to have received it and uh, also very privileged to have been able to keep shooting at a time where I know a lot of the world are really struggling out there through this COVID madness. So um, thanks again and uh, stay safe out there everyone. After a year of spending too much on Uber Eats and Amazon, we have learned to appreciate a day out with friends and laughing at the simple things in life. Take a break from watching terrible movies and watch a comedy series instead. Just have an extra pair of underwear handy in case you laugh too hard and your bladder can't handle it. Here are the nominees for Best Comedy Web Series. Free Tour. Cry Up, Love, Guns, and Level Ups, Short Term Sentence, and the winner is Love, Guns, and Level Ups. I think we can all agree that life can get pretty dramatic at times, but the best way to watch the drama unfold is through stories. Great dramas keep you engaged and always wanting more. Here are the nominees for Best Drama Web Series. Inside, Disappearing Stories, Miracle Barbershop, and the award goes to Inside. Congratulations. Uh, kia ora from Aotearoa. Yeah, we are here in the house that Inside was filmed in. We would like to thank uh, New Zealand On Air for funding the project and Dana and Annie at Sky and Prime for all their support. And thank you to the festival for selecting us. We're really thrilled to be here and we look forward to sharing our work with all of you. Yay! Yay. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Everything starts from the script. They may seem like simple words on a page, but the script is like the seed of a production. Feed it and nurture it properly, and you'll reap the rewards later. All the best stories in the world have a strong sense of character arcs and plot development. And like any good book, you can read through a good script in no time. The nominees for Best Screenplay are Julian Dezotti for For the Record. Dan Musgrove, Shoshana McCollum, Kura Forrester, Thomas Sainsbury, and Nick Sampson for Inside. Leah Cameron, Kava Mohebi, Winita Storms, Clara Altimas, Peter Murphy, and Spencer Thompson for The Communist's Daughter. And the award goes to Inside. Hi everyone. Um, we are the creators of Inside. Thank you so much for this award for Best Screenplay. Um, thanks to the judges and the festival and uh, the participants. And we just want to thank our writing team of Nick Sampson, Tom Sainsbury and Kuta Forrester. We had an absolute ball making this show with you, uh, so this is for you guys as well. Thanks to everyone who watched. an editor to the silent master of a multi-billion dollar empire. You don't really see them ever, but they make everything turn out in the end. The nominees for best editing are Daniel Vink for Love Guns and Level Ups, Jochen Fitzherbert for Inside, Mike LaBelle and Joe Kitchak for Detention Adventures, and the award goes to Jochen Fitzherbert for Inside. Congratulations. Kia ora, Toronto. Thank you so much for this incredible award, Toronto Webfest. I'm really honored. Thank you as well to the Inside team, especially Peter Salmon, who directed the whole series. Cheers. Great directors understand what actors bring to the table, and at the same time can direct them towards their vision. A great director leads. A great director knows what they want and can communicate the pictures in their head to the team that is pushing them towards success. A great director can tell great stories. The nominees for Best Directing are Joe Kitchak for Detention Adventures, Peter Salmon for Inside, Andrew Shanks and Nicholas Cleary for Love, 
guns, and level ups. And the award goes to Andrew Shanks and Nicholas Cleary for Love, Guns, and Level Ups. From one director to another, congratulations. Some of them like their martini shaken, not stirred. Some of them save the world. And some of them fall in love before our very eyes. This award is sponsored by ACTRA. The nominees for Best Lead Actor are Phil Moniz for Short Term Sentence. This could be a really great experience for you. How? Kevin kept me up all night reenacting the series finale to Pretty Little Liars. When I told him I had to go to work, he threw my car keys out the window. Do you know how hard it is to ride a scooter with a briefcase? How am I supposed to get into a meaningful relationship when I'm roommates with this maniac? Have you found out how you got stuck with him? Apparently it was his choice. What? I didn't say anything. All right, I gotta go. I gotta make sure he hasn't burned down the house yet. Wait, come back! I didn't get the shot! Fuck you, Fiona! Julian Dezotti for For the Record. I just did. Are we really doing this? I guess so. Wow. Just complete destruction. All this time, huh? All the years. Listening together, being together, just... Broken! You left me! You moved on! Edouard Gale for Love, Guns, and Level Ups. Looks like we're in quite the conundrum. Oh, shit. It's been nice knowing you, Mad Martigan. Does the BB and BB gun set for anything? I gotta know. Ah, you shot me in the leg! Oh, I want me to kiss her better. Well, you do sound kind of cute. And the Best Lead Actor Award goes to Phil Moniz for Short Term Sentence. Congratulations, Phil. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much to Yale WebFest for this award. Um, I was actually told to keep this one short, so that shouldn't be too hard for me. Um, Pause for laughter. It was a two-hander, by the way. As an actor myself, I often think about my ideal leading role. For me, it's playing a woodland creature in a wizard fantasy. We all dream of landing that life-changing role, and sometimes people get lucky like these next people. This award is sponsored by ACTRA. The nominees for Best Lead Actress are Clarice Johansson for Planetel. Cientistas continuam a afirmar que um fundo sem fim is... Então o macaco respondeu, é só descascar. <risos> e por hoje é só. Antes de terminar, eu gostaria de dedicar este programa à minha mãe. Mamãe, eu te amo e quero te dar um abraço ao vivo e a cores. Mil beijos pra você. Chelsea Reist for Narco Leap, season two. I'm so proud of you. God, you are so full of shit. Restrain her, now! Get off of me! Why can't I leap into you? The wonders of technology. No. No! Dad! Don't let them do this! Please! Stop it! Stop it! Kelsey, I don't think you understand. I'm gonna save your life. We followed you to the neurologist. I know about your meningeal tumor, and we're gonna take care of that for you. As soon as we find your body. You're going to experiment on me? Experiment is kind of a trigger word. It's more like exploratory surgery to find out if this tumor is what's giving you all these amazing powers. 
You want to help me. Irlande Cote for Claire and the Elderly. Guetta, vous rentrez. Merci, Louise, d'avoir préparé tout ça. Ça m'a fait plaisir, oh, ça m'a fait plaisir, mon petit cœur. <rire> Bien. Tu m'aides avec les paquets? Elle m'a même pas appelé. Ta mère, elle t'aime tellement, si tu savais. C'est juste qu'elle a beaucoup de choses à régler. Je suis pas mal chanceuse d'avoir ma petite fille avec moi. Tout le monde est jaloux. C'est parce que je suis très divertissante, oui. Bien divertissante. And the award goes to Irlande Cote for Claire and the Elderly. Congratulations, Claire. As president, I speak on behalf of the entire Board of Governors to say congratulations to everyone who was part of the festival this year. Here are five honorable mentions that we'd like to highlight. First is for the record. The second honorable mention is what we leave behind. Jonan honorable mention Chi Sanger 300 year old class of 2020. The next honorable mention is for CT Vampire. Last but not least is Locomotion Pictures. You had not only one, but two series as part of the festival and awards. Congratulations. Hello from Singapore, I'm Kenny Tan from Bitsy Studios and we are the producers of City Vampire. On behalf of the series creator M. Raihan Halim and the whole wacky team of uh, cast and crew of this project, we'd like to thank Theo Webfest as well as um, the Board of Governors uh, for this uh, honorable mention. So thank you so much and we hope you enjoy the series. This award is brought to you by the CMF, Canada Media Fund, Fonds des Médias du Canada. Canadian pride comes in many forms, eating maple syrup on everything, stopping to watch geese cross the road, or admiring the fall colors and taking 500 photos even though it happens every year. But we want to show our Canadian pride by shining a spotlight on some incredible web series creators. Here are the nominees for Best Canadian Web Series. Detention Adventures. Trapped. Dog Days. And the award goes to Detention Adventures. Congratulations. Detention has never seemed like so much fun. <laughs> When the stars align and all elements of a web series production come together like a perfect puzzle, and the cherry on top is that audiences love the series, it deserves to be recognized. Here are the nominees for Best Overall Web Series. Love, Guns, and Level Ups. Disappearing Stories. Inside. And the winner is Oleg Ajikhev and Alexander Gornovsky for Disappearing Stories. Hello from Moscow. I want to say thank you for that award. It's awesome to be a part of Best Web Series. Disappearing Stories is a very com complicated and complex project and I want to say thank you to all our team and to everybody who support us. Uh, thank you and see you soon. Bye. That's it for TO Web Fest 2021. I hope you enjoyed the show and you know, maybe watching some series you might not have known about. When you see these guys at the Oscars or at the CSAs in a couple of years, you can say you saw them here first. TO Webfest was brought to you with the assistance of the CMF, the Independent Production Fund, Telefilm Canada, Aptra, Bell Media Fund, and Ontario Creates. We hope to see you again next year in the theaters, perhaps, for the ninth annual TO Webfest. Mm -hmm.